Take Time Crisis, add dual wielding, mix in a sci-fi setting, throw in some telekinetic abilities, and you've got Mortal Blitz on the PlayStation VR. If you're looking for a story-driven first-person shooter, then you won't find it here. Mortal Blitz is an arcade-style shooter in the vein of Time Crisis, only instead of using a pedal or button to move into cover, you have to physically move into cover yourself. I tried playing this game sitting down, but this made it difficult to move into cover, so I would recommend playing this game standing up, just make sure you have plenty of room to move. When you first start the game up, you are put through a basic tutorial of the game's mechanics, such as equipping weapons, teleporting, using telekinetic abilities, and how to perform finishes, which will earn you more points. Once this short tutorial is over, you'll be thrown straight into the first level, where you will meet your squad, who don't really provide anything to make a decent story or even help you during the game. But to be honest, you don't play this game for the story, you just want to get in and shoot stuff. Now the gameplay itself is really good fun. You have two pistols with a high rate of fire, both have laser pointers on which makes aiming very easy, and the guns will reload themselves once you empty your clips, or you can manually reload them at any time. Best done when in cover. There are various items and grenades scattered through the levels for you to throw at your enemies and the occasional weapon to find, such as shotguns, miniguns and rocket launchers. All these weapons have only one clip available, so once you run out of ammo, it's back to your pistols, but the pistols are still good enough for slaughtering all you face anyway. The game also has a groggy finishing system that works by damaging your enemies until they're stunned, unequipping your gun and then pulling them into the air which puts the game into slow-mo, and if you kill them before the slow-mo ends then you are given a rating and a bonus score which feels really satisfying. There are two factions of enemies to fight, a human militia and some mutant monsters who like throwing fireballs in your direction. I prefer playing against the humans as you have to take cover from the constant barrage of bullets they throw at you, whereas the mutants I could happily stay in the open and keep gunning them down. There are five missions to complete, each will take you between 5 to 10 minutes to beat, and the final mission around 10 to 20 minutes. And they leave you with a promise that more levels will be added at a later date. As well as the main game, there is a training mode that has 50 levels. The aim is to destroy all the balls within the time limit, which is not really challenging at all. However, every 10 levels, there will be a bonus round that sees you breaking up larger balls into smaller balls until they're destroyed. The catch being if any of them touch the floor, you lose one second on your timer. While this is more challenging, it can be incredibly frustrating. This mode doesn't really improve your play in the main game, but it does let you unlock new skins for your pistols and different colours for your laser pointers. This game is best played with two motion controllers, but it does give the option to play with one and also the option to play using a dual shot controller. But the dual shot can lose tracking a lot easier than the motion controller. Now this game is not the killer app the PSVR has been looking for, but it is definitely one of the more fun small experiences I've played on the system, and at £15.99 on the PlayStation Store, I would recommend it to anyone who already owns a PSVR. Thank you for watching.